Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be stuffing my Cassius Cash envelopes for the month of May. So we're going to jump right on into it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. My name is Janelle. I'm a wife and a mother of one. And on here, I like to do all things budgeting. So this is going to be my budget binder. I do do a, well, not my budget binder, but my sinking funds binder. I do do a cashless system. So there won't be any cash involved, but all of this money gets transferred from our main account to our ally checking and savings account just depending on what's going on at whatever particular time so um, we are going to go ahead and stuff this for this month I did I put most of my money towards saving challenges so depending on when you see this video you may or may not have saw the saving challenges or not or stay tuned for it if you didn't if it's not out yet um, and so I was able to get some money into those savings challenge to kind of help out with some of the sinking funds. But honestly, right now we're doing okay. Like we're, we're doing okay. We're just taking our time. We're being, you know, as meticulous as possible about where we're putting the money, how we're saving the money and all of that good stuff. So there's not a lot going everywhere, but we're putting something to somewhere. Okay, 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 good, 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 good. So um, we're not putting anything or we don't have anything budgeted for entertainment, car insurance, car maintenance, <laughs> pets, health, home maintenance. We are going to be putting some money into subscriptions. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out my May... Um, monthly sinking fund setup. I talk about um, just where we are, what we started off with and things like that. So we are going to do this as a deposit and we are going to be putting $60 into here. So this will bring me to $368.88. Now, the subscriptions, part of the subscription um, like my script subscription setup is to pay out love every which is a like Montessori like gift play kit setup thing for baby girl and it used to be $124 now it's like $129 and some change quarterly so they got me because I just got the email that um, they charged the card and they'll be mailing out her love every kit for this month so yeah so $60 went into subscriptions. Um, now that I have some money and some different things and things like that, I'm going to be focusing on our taxes. Um, and this is just to get ahead in our escrow so that our monthly on a whole mortgage payment doesn't continue to go up because of the taxes and insurance. Because our house did um, go like the, it's been appraised a little bit higher. We do have like a lawyer that every year goes in and tries to get that down. Um, last year we were unsuccessful, so we're trying again this year. Um, and I just want to make sure that we're doing the right thing because this is some place where we can. Wait, no, that doesn't look right. 110 plus 12. Okay. Um, where we can have some influence in what our mortgage payment looks like a month. Um, originally, I wasn't taking it that seriously um, in terms of saving a whole lot of money for this because I wasn't, um, I didn't think that I would get this far in how much money I've saved for like our sinking funds and saving challenges. So for sure, I'm definitely proud of myself. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like one of our other good main focus is whatever I can save, I will save, but there at this point, there is no like actual goal, but I do need to make sure I save in here. Okay. Let me stop rambling on y'all. Next is going to be rainy day. This is just for things that may come up that we need to cover things for. So we are going to, um, add $10 to here. And this is just slowly building up, y'all, because let me tell you, um, this account um, is linked with our credit union here, like in Texas, and 
they don't have really good interest rates because as y'all can see, I've only been getting two cents. Even at 140 in my high yield savings account, I'm getting more than that. So not trying to put too much, but want to have some money in here. So that is where we are for rainy day funds. And then we are going to put some money. We're going to come back to this, our emergency fund. We are going to go to baby girl. This is just another savings account that she has. Um, and we are going to put $8 into here. So we just want to keep that going. So 57 plus 8 is $65. Okay, so she has $65 in her savings. The way that I have her savings set up is right now I'm just following this like savings challenge where you save the age of your child's um, like age. So I'm catching up from last year, which was a dollar, which she should already have $52 in there. So technically we were covered off or oh, y'all can't see that. Technically we're covered off for the 52 from last week and then we're going to catch up um this week i mean this year so two times 52 is 104 plus 52 so at the end of the year she should be at 156 dollars okay um now we're going to go back to my emergency fund so i am doing a savings challenge i probably should just put this in the bank two four six um because this was the cash that i was um, saving with the savings challenge, but now the money I just transfer it over to my um, to the account. So I may need to put this money in there so that it's just like all in there. Um, but we are going to be putting for here the goal or my goal was for the year to just get this account to fifteen hundred dollars so we're gonna do 511 we're gonna be putting in our deposit and we're building this up and i feel a little bit more comfortable with fifteen hundred dollars because we are already a full month ahead in our checking account we are going to be adding 276 dollars so 952 plus 276 that's twelve twenty eight ninety three here and then we're actually going to go and shade that in on our tracker here back here so we're going to be working through this y'all so we are going to be coloring in 35 34 33 32 oops 31 and y'all, I realize that if I just go from the bottom and work my way up, as I get further on into the year and things may get a little crazy and stuff like that, it's easier to stuff $16 and $72 and maybe $50 and $49. Um, we're going to color in $30, $29, and $28. And then at this point, it left me with um, $24. So we're going to color in $22. Because 24 is already colored, and we're going to color in two. So for the next couple of ones that I'd like to fill in would be 27 plus 26 plus 23 plus 21. So about $100. Yeah, $100 would clear out this row and get me three here. So we'll see what we can do for next month. Or June, or if I happen to get more money now, y'all, that's also a good thing as well, too. So, um, yeah, so this is where I am for my uh 50 envelope challenge. Now, there was already money in the emergency fund that's already wrapped into that number because you're probably like, well, you're at 1228, but you still have all of this to go, so that money is just mixed on in. So, we should hopefully get very close to or more than $1,500 by the end of the year but i would almost like to have it finished off um, maybe by like the third quarter so that there's just money in there and we have it but that concludes my sinking fund stuffing for the month of may i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe share with your friends and family and i will see you guys in the next one